Yes, YouTube Massive, what's up? How's everyone doing? The YouTube vlog you're about to see was actually a video shot for my IGTV, but at the, at, the, at the last split second, I was like, as I was recording the video, I was like, you know what? Because it has value, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push it on YouTube instead. So that being said, enjoy. Peace. Yes, IGTV Massive. What's up? It's been a long time still. How's everyone doing? Anyway, so I was literally just thinking of what kind of videos and content to make for my IGTV today, because it's been a while. Oops, what's this? It's my audio recorder. Anyways, and I was just thinking, like, it's it's crazy when you think, like, you know, Marvel has the biggest, uh, or Disney, who owns Marvel, have the biggest movie franchise worth, I think it's, like, over 11 billion or more, the biggest movie franchise, period. And I was thinking, like, it's it's mad crazy when you think about it in, in this way, that, um, you know, all of these movies and ideas came from, like, a Five Cents comic book. People like Stanley, Steve Dicto, um, Jack Kirby, you know, the people that gave a lot of substance and energy to the, the, the characters that we all love and basically see from the Marvel comics to the MCU, you know, never thought in a million years that all of these characters would be will generate so much income for such a big brand like Disney or Marvel. So I guess the message of the day is never to self, never have any self-doubt of who you are or what you can become. As Stan Lee said, he never thought in a million years that the characters that he created would actually be this popular in regards to making so much money um, within Disney. I mean, Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, The X-Men, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, like, you know, like characters you, you know, that you love and know of, but you never, would you ever thought they would actually be this big within this era? So it's, it's, it's crazy, it's fun. But also, in a nutshell, basically, it's a thing of where it's value. And it's the reason that I was engrossed into the MCU is basically is because of the storytelling, the passion. Um, when you take out the, the fancy characters, sorry, the, the cast members, the CGI, the, 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 the energy and money behind Disney, who actually own Marvel Studios once again, um, you know, they've told an amazing story. So telling a good story through how you see the world being audio, video, written, and pictures, and of course, that literally translates to, of course, what, um, <clears throat> sorry, it translates to, you know, you taking a picture and a, f a picture and captioning it, um, and you post that on the gram, otherwise known as Instagram, it's your way of telling the story. So you don't think you have to do video because you think video is forward. If you have an amazing voice and you love audio, do a podcast. If you like video, do video. If you're someone that loves the written word, do a blog or take a picture, not be your caption in the blog on a daily basis. Post five times a day on Instagram or do like a video of some voiceovers or some written words and post that on TikTok and Instagram and it'll pop and blow. Um, so it's funny how this conversation has gone from like from Marvel to, um, to basically to this, but it's basically because I'm how can I put it? Because I'm, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Because I'm doing my own thing, trying to build, well, not trying, I am building my own empire on this red bed, basically. Um, that's my violet, basically, jump. I do love the colour violet. Um, when I see what my favourite brands do, for example, Marvel, it just shows me what I'm doing on a daily basis. But it going back to Marvel, basically, it's just amazing how five... A five cents comic book has been translated into like an 11 billion dollar franchise i mean avengers endgame hit 2.8 billion the first avengers movie hit i think one and a half billion or, or not a billion uh avengers age of ultron hit one and a half like it's just crazy the numbers that have come in and it's essentially it's just to basically say once again you can make money from doing everything you could you could be a person that sells jumpers, that sells portable chargers, that sells glasses, that's, that likes to sell I don't know, camera stands. If that's what you love and you bleed that out of your eyeballs every single day, then that's your passion. For me, it's basically what it's am a, a, amongst other things. I pronounced that right. I'm happy. It's talking about Marvel. It's doing vlogs podcast writing linkedin articles or linkedin posts i'm going ham on linkedin by the way and um speaking my truth and because of that people are vibrating doing their thing and it's allowed me to grow like it's such an amazing thing to speak about the things that you love to speak about and that you know to speak about you can speak about anything in the world and it has money this comic book when it first came out it was worth on ebay on pre-order 
And of course, this is the J. Scott Campbell variant of um, Venom issue three, right? It was guiding for about 500 pounds. 500 bloody pounds. And it's worth basically what? It's worth three, four dollars. That's the value of it in the sense of basically of the comic. But because it's a, it's a one in 100 variant basically, um, meaning, I believe, I think it was a 100 variant, which essentially means for every 100 regular covers they have of Venom, they basically got one of these. So it's rare. And it's J. Scott Campbell. And look at the art. Like he's drawn Venom like crazy, man. I mean, seriously, like this is cool. This is nuts. It is like nuts out here. Like it's so cool. It is so cool. So in a nutshell, you can make money from doing whatever you want to do. As long as you love it, you bleed your eyeballs out every single day and you want it. Nothing will stop you apart from you. Anyways, people, hope everyone is well and of course literally doing well. Um, just basically just wanted to just spew basically my um my thoughts out on this particular um uh train of foot I had today. And that's pretty much me. I hope everyone is well and of course literally doing well. Um this is this video wasn't even supposed to be done for YouTube, but I think it's gonna go on YouTube because it has such it has a lot of value. Um, so as always, if you're watching this on YouTube, and of course I think you are, and you will have to watch it on YouTube. Now it's probably on IGTV as well. Smash the YouTube subscribe button. Smash the YouTube bell button. Um, hit the bell button. If you're watching this on IGTV, smash the IGTV, pardon me, um, button. Um, smash the Instagram subscribe button. And yeah, man, just basically just thank you so much for taking time out of your lives to watch this video. And of course, question of the day, who are you and what do you love to do? Drop your comments down below and of course let me know. Peace.